Hi, I'm Julie Rogers. I want to welcome you to Endangered Arts. As you can see, I'm holding a surfboard, but it's not surfing season. It's been a little cold outside, but I just want to tell you how you can change the entire dynamics of your home just by adding art. A good friend of mine is here. She's a designer. <laughs> she designs and I provide the art. So we're going to kind of tell you how just adding something like this surfboard, which, which is actually a surfboard that's painted on, or just a piece of wall art or even a sculpture can change how you feel about your house. It can make it warm and cozy. So, Debbie? Hey, I really appreciate this and thank you for letting me do a little shopping for my clients right now. Um, hi, by hi. the way. Good this is great. You. I tell you what, I've been wandering in the back, seeing things every time I come, and this is the one thing I say all the time when, when I come to Endangered Arts, every time I walk in, I'm usually looking for a client, so I'm looking through a different lens, right? Right, right. exactly. And, and it's ironic that you've got this today because I have a client that has an original old Woody. Oh, wow. Okay, and, and let me say this, Julie, and I've got a bunch of questions. Okay. One of the things that I struggle with especially with someone like Barton, because he does all these right. fantastic pieces, but I tend to get overwhelmed. What you taught me, and tell me, tell everyone a little bit, how do I begin to focus in on one piece? Well, most people that come in already know kind of what they want. Mm -hmm. They kind of know the place. Yep or um, they kind of have a look that they're going for. Okay. So we just try to help them with that. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not, most people kind of know what color as well okay. because of their home. Yeah. But you know, if you're coming in and you, Barton's pieces, this is Steve Barton, um, they're just fun, happy pieces. They really um, are. They just make you feel good. They're all, um, hand unique. So he just, this one in particular, he can actually put the, um, tag number on it he can paint it on for the person so he personalizes things he can put your dog in or cat in or um, but kind, that's kind of uh, what he does but then we've got other artists that you know if you come in and you want a piece that just is like the focal point okay. in a room that's a different that's we have a different that as animal. well well you know it's freezing cold outside right Tis the season. well that's why I want to do warm it things up exactly well <laughs> and it's funny because I find that with with seasons Again, through my lens, I tend to look at different things. And we talked last time I was in about the winter season and and how art can create this, really set the tone for how you feel in the room. And you said some really interesting things about warmth. Yeah, well, just for an example, I've got a painting over my fireplace that's a beach scene. And you know, when I look at that, it just does make me feel like, wow, there is a uh, light at the end of the tunnel for warm, <laughs> right? Because it has been pretty cold here, yeah, and it has. you know, we just want uh, to kind of give you an idea of how, if you come in here, mm -hmm. we can um, suggest things, or it, some people just come in and just automatically they say, oh, I want that. Mm -hmm. So, do people have to be educated to the art? Like I know you're holding a surfboard right now, and as you're introducing it, and again, it's fun to actually see it off of the wall right. and see it three-dimensionally right. to be able to truly appreciate it. Yeah, I grew up surfing, so uh, I'm very at ease holding this thing. Yeah, I it, would it, never it. surf on this one. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, when you come in, uh, Clay is so good at this as well. We'll have now, Clay is her husband, who is also husband. here at Endangered Arts. He, in his, in his own right, is talented He's artist. a very good artist. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. We, Everybody that comes in the door is different, mm -hmm. just like your clients. Exactly. So, you know, you just try to pick up on the little mm -hmm. things they say and what they're trying to do in their new home. We've got somebody that we're helping right now that just finished building their new home. Okay. So uh, they don't want to use anything from their house in uh, the Midwest. So okay. we're trying to help them, you know, bring well, the South in. Well, that brings me, brings up another point. What about seasonal changes to art? If I have some good pieces like this. You know, I... I think that's a great idea. We the piece I have over our fireplace, we won't ever change it because it's mm -hmm. kind of like the your painting. signature piece. Exactly. But then we've got other pieces that we actually rotate and mm -hmm. we've got customers that do that and there's nothing wrong with that. I love I mean, it. I do too because you know you want to appreciate 
everything that you have, you don't want to leave it in the closet all the time. Right. But I, you know, just change it out and mm -hmm. then come in here and buy another piece and then change that out. You know, we'll, we'll make it easy for you. Do you feel like you, edu you do educate your clients when they come in? Because I know that um, the other day when I was in, you were talking about kind of depth and breadth of colors. Right. Well, you can see behind me, uh, right. Barton is like a true pop of color. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, some people don't want that. They want something a little more subtle. So, you know, it's, you know, we do try to educate you. Clay is really good at it, and mm -hmm. I am. And, and again, I know if people have followed us over the years, we'll bring pieces out and let you actually look at them in your environment. Okay. We'll even let you leave them overnight to make sure that's what you want because it does look different when you put it in your home oh, with your my furniture. Gosh, exactly. And your how do you see, or how would you envision a piece like this? The surfboard? Yeah. We've hung them in breakfast areas. We've hung them in, on sun porches. I mean, just, that's um, a, that's yeah, a good idea. sun rooms. Yes. Um, you know, if you just want something fun, just to kind of give you an idea, in my laundry room, I'm pretty conservative, but in my laundry room, I have a piece of his. Okay. That's a drunk pelican okay. with purple feet. And okay. I tell you what, it's I'm one of my favorite people, <laughs> uh, favorite pieces of art. Is it really? Yeah, it is. Do you feel people by personality I art do. as much as anything? Uh, they do. They uh, Art is so personal mm -hmm. that, you know, you can have 10 people come in and 10 different things they like or dislike. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why we you, we've got such a variety in here. Mm -hmm. So you have to come in and just look. So. You know, one of the other things that you did with me the other day that was really pretty interesting was you took me into what you call a viewing room. Can right. you tell people why that's so important? Because I know what it did for me. Right. Well, there's a lot of art in here. Um, so it's a little overwhelming when you're looking at like a wall with mm -hmm. 10 pieces on it. So we'll take that piece of art off the wall and okay. put it in the viewing room, just one piece. It's more like a setting for your, you know, at your home. Mm -hmm. We've got lights that we dim so you can kind of see what the art really looks like. And we have a couch. You can sit there and kind of like, wow, is this going to work? And mm -hmm. then if you think it is, then we'll bring it out and make sure it works for Do you. Do people ever change their minds about things? In other words, you'll, you'll give them an idea and take something back. And at first they're like, I'm not really sure. But again, I love this piece. You know, there are some of them that the more I look at, right. and I'll be quite honest, when I've looked at the surfboard, I will tend to walk by it. Right. It's yeah. cool. It is. But I will tend, now that you're like, yeah. you know, I'm really paying attention to it. Yeah. I am sitting there going, I can think of about three places right now that this would go with clients that I really had yeah. walked by and hadn't thought about it. Yeah. So that's probably part of the fun of what you do. It is because it, like I said, everybody that comes through the door is different. So some people will gravitate to the color. Some people will be more conservative. Some mm -hmm. people want to kind of mix it up and do both. So we, we try to, you know, we don't tell you what to buy. Uh, we just kind of give you an idea of what we think you might like. And then we go from there. At Endangered Arts, what is your philosophy? See, we're getting heavy now. Yeah. What is your philosophy? A philosophy about art, and mixing styles or pieces or genres. Again, the house that I'm thinking for this is a really sophisticated house. I call this bright, rich, deep but not cute. I don't know how to even say it. What is right. your thought about mixing different pieces I of art? I think it's great. I mean, we do, not just for a sales pitch, but we, um, you wouldn't believe the places that we've hung art that you wouldn't think it would work, mm -hmm. but it does. It's very personal. It's, uh, you can mix things up. Okay. I mean, I'm very conservative and I've got, like I said, my purple pelican that I love. And then I've mm -hmm. got this original Tabor over the fireplace. So okay. wh whatever, is makes you happy and comfortable in your house, that's what you should do. All right. The more we talk, the more questions I have, and I think you'll find that too when you come in. One of the other questions I talk, I, I really am curious about is scale of art. Is that an important piece, uh, piece of buying art? And are there any general rules of thumb about knowing what piece is appropriate for what space from a scale point of view first of all well that's a good question yeah because, don't you uh, hate those questions <laughs> well um it depends on like it uh, like i keep going back to this piece over our fireplace it needed a big piece okay because, like a focal point yeah a focal okay. point and then other places 
you don't want to overwhelm the room or the wall by putting too big of a piece of art up there. So that's another reason, you know, we'll bring pieces out. Or another good rule of thumb that we do is we'll tell you to cut a piece of um, paper out, oh, tape smart. it to the wall, see if that's kind of the size you want. Okay. Because we don't want you to just like be overwhelmed when you see it, but that kind of gives you a guideline of what size piece you want. Uh, actually, so that's a great idea. And We and do that all the time for customers. Well, and it makes sense, and I do that with furniture. Uh, yeah, I'll, same thing. I'll blue tape it out yeah. so I can at least kind of get somewhat of a exactly. visual of how it's going to feel. Right. Oh, it makes so much sense to me. Are you a grouping person also? I think, you know, we're talking a little bit about scale. We're talking about rich, deep colors for the winter. Do you feel like warm colors add warmth? Yes, I do. I and, love uh, it. Yeah. But I again, hate it when they give us the sign like I know we have we to, have to go because we, we could talk for roll. hours. Exactly. But one thing I just want you to um, make sure you come and see what we have. We're always changing our art, so I mean mm -hmm. sometimes I think something's right there and we've already sold it. <laughs> so just come in and thing. look, and mm -hmm. the gallery is easy to get to. Um, so just come by and visit us. It is always fun. Thank you so much. I learn something every single time. Thank you all for joining us. Have a great day.